Hey guys, I'm here with another video showing you even more details you might have missed while playing New Vegas. A gunrunner by the name of Alexander can be found in the 188 trading post, where he would tell you he's been set up there since I-15 got closed. Ever since the 15 shut down, all caravans come through here, right to me. I check the stock and direct deliveries onward to meet orders. But get this. If you were able to deal with the Powder Gangers and restore law and order in Prim, Alexander would have this unique fourth wall breaking dialogue available when talking to him again. Still plenty of other problems keeping the 15 shut down though. Thanks for playing. Also, he has hidden dialogue reacting to the player wiping out the quarry junction from all the death claws. You took out a death claw nest. Either you're lying or you're tougher than you look. And if you resolved all the problems at I-15, you can tell him the caravans can start using the highway again, to which he responds, That's impressive, if you're telling the truth. Speaking of Quarry Junction, did you know that if you clear out all the death gloss and wait 2-3 to three days, you can visit Boulder City, where when entering the Bighorn Saloon, a bunch of workers would have returned and started slowly getting back to work thanks to your actions. Work slow right now, but at least it's something. It's about time they called us back. Train's not working yet. Also, Ike the bartender will mention that some badass cleared out Quarry Junction. Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west. The supply had stopped for a while because of a Deathclaw problem. I heard some badass wastelander killed the Deathclaws and deliveries of limestone have been coming in again. I don't think they've gotten the trains up and running yet, but most of the concrete plant workers have come back to town now. Good for business. When finishing the Dead Money's DLC and returning to the Mojave, you have the option to grab a special holotape labeled for Veronica from Elijah's computer in his Brotherhood bunker. Taking this holotape to her will enable unique dialogue. You did? Where? Oh my god, I mean, uh, I, I thought... I don't even know what I thought might have happened to him. But you don't have a this is good news expression on your face. Trapped him? Where? It doesn't matter. He died when we all retreated to Hidden Valley. I didn't expect to see him again. No one did. Did he say anything when you met him? Anything... anything at all? Where did you get this? Guess I was right about the bad news, huh? Same look Elder McNamara always gave me when I was up for promotion. All right. I'll watch it. That was... That was hard to watch. The parts I understood? Didn't matter. Past all the garbage, all it amounted to was goodbye. Sorry. Feel a little out of it. Head spinning a bit. Oh. Oh! I think he left me a gift. If she listens to it, Veronica would receive the Elijah's Last Words perk, giving her a 50% increased attack speed and 25% chance of knocking down enemies. But if you instead chose to have Veronica return the holotape to you without watching it, the courier will gain the Elijah's Ramblings perk which increases all melee critical hit damage by 50%. Did you know Lily the Nightkin companion found in Jacobstown has another version of her in-game? This actually is how Lily, full name Lillian Marie Bowen, looked before she got transformed into the Nightkin by the Unity Super Mutants. Living in Vault 17, this 75-year-old grandmother was dragged outside, taken to the Mariposa military base and dipped into the vats of forced evolutionary virus. In Fallout New Vegas, she's found in an area called Cell for Dead, which is essentially a dark test cell. You can also find her grandchildren there, Becky and Jimmy. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. When talking to Ulysses after finishing the Lonesome Road DLC, you can tell him you reached New Vegas and killed Mr. House, to which he has unique dialogue as a response. House spoke, acted through machines. Sometimes can judge a man by his messengers. Sometimes the messengers judge him. Wonder what happens to Vegas now. The tribes, 
families. We'll see. What you did was for the best. The old world died long ago. Anyone who believes they can make it return, and everything will be as it was. It is a dangerous belief. Needs to be silenced before their belief spreads. If you saw a house, you didn't see a man. An old world spirit, perhaps. Filthy, diseased. If so, killing him was mercy, not cruelty. When letting Oris escort you through Freeside and find out what he's up to on behalf of the king, when he tells you to take a different route because of the thugs ahead, you can actually just ignore him and walk right through the thugs. This will enable a reaction from Oris with unique dialogue. Huh. I guess they weren't harmless after all. I'm not often mistaken, you know. Hey. Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. I hope you learned something new. Be sure to like this video if you enjoy this kind of content. And thanks for watching.